it's a privilege to be a part of maintaining lands that are going to be around a lot longer than either you or me. You know, it's been said multiple times that um, when you talk about the out of doors, they're not making any more of it. That's, uh, that's an obvious truth. And because of it, the areas that, you know, are still trying to do the things that were historically done on uh, private property, there's a stewardship element of this that becomes really a big, big part of what we do. As the stewards of this ranch, we've had to look at what is here very critically. So really our end goal here is we want to take this stream that it's eroded down a little bit and we want to bring that stream bed back up and reconnect it with that floodplain bench. If you think about it from an aerial perspective, if you got on Google Earth or something, you look down on this area from above, especially in Utah and some of these dry states, you see these green ribbons, a really nice looking prime habitat running through these really dry areas. And those green ribbons are where water is. And this project, if we can reconnect this floodplain, ultimately what happens is we expand the area of that green. We make that green, really nice lush habitat bigger, wider. And that's really important habitat for wildlife and it's really important for people too. Erosion has been a problem that we've seen on Miller Creek for a very long time. A beaver dam analog, or a BDA, is a man-made structure designed to mimic the function of a natural beaver dam. They're cost efficient, they're effective, they're great tools that we can put onto the landscape that will help retain sediment before it gets washed downstream. Miller Creek doesn't have any fish in it right now, but after the work that we've been doing over the last few years, restoring banks and elevating the stream bed, we think it's ready to start introducing some cutthroat back into it. Ultimately, that's the goal, is to improve the quality of land. We do this by focusing on water. Water is the key to life, especially out here in southeastern Utah. We need water in order to provide for ourselves, to provide for livestock, and also to help wildlife thrive here. One of the most exciting things about this project is the partnerships that we've built. It started out with just a, a few partners, the Division of Wildlife, the landowner, Trout Unlimited, um, but it really has grown from there as, as people have seen the success and now we're working with the National Wild Turkey Federation, Wild Utah Project. So to me, the exciting part is the partnerships that have been built. So when I first heard about some of the projects that uh, my dad had started to swing at the property, I wasn't too sure. And I have turned out to be quite wrong. It's turned out to be probably the best thing that's happened. It's improved uh, your ability to see all sorts of game, including deer and find cows. You don't gotta go chasing them through the trees. We've come up with a plan that's evolving. And underlying all of that is the responsibility part that I feel we're entrusted with to take care of it. 